Welcome to my channel. <laughs> I'm filled with positivity right now because I told myself if I would go to the gym, I would give myself a little treat, which is going to Joanne Fabrics and trying out their new Posh yarn. By the way, my name is Kayla. I own a small business called Endless Yarn Spool, if you don't know. And my main focus on my Etsy shop is selling crocheted steering wheel covers of all different kinds, all different colors, all different textures, everything like that. I sell velvet ones. I sell um, blanket yarn style squishy cozy ones I sell glow-in-the-dark ones <laughs> I sell a lot of steering wheel covers so when I think of crochet normally I think of crochet in terms of hmm can I use this to make a steering wheel cover <laughs> and I was thinking since you know Joanne Fabrics came out with this very new and improved uh, yarn that I would go and see if I can find a really nice color that I like and make a steering wheel cover out of it and I thought since it's trending, a lot of new beginner crocheters might want to learn how to make a steering wheel cover of their own. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a beginner friendly crochet steering wheel cover and I'm going to show you how to do the exact same thing so you can make one for your car. If you know how to do the single crochet stitch, you will be able to do this pattern. It's super easy, super simple, and because it's a very thick yarn, it's going to be able to work up so super fast and you're going to love it. Okay, let's get started. I was just a little boy, everybody told me you could be whatever you want to be. So I told myself, I'm going to be a singer, I'm going to play on the keys. I can do whatever I want if I just believe. Yeah, but then over the Everybody's telling me to find a career. Huh. I'll be my Hello, good morning. Welcome back. Um, welcome to my studio. <laughs> um, we're gonna make a crochet steering wheel cover today. I'm so excited. It's freezing today in Florida. It's 54 degrees. It's the perfect day to make a nice, plushy, warm, cozy steering wheel cover out of this posh Joanne Fabrics yarn. Disclaimer alert, please before you actually start driving with the steering wheel cover made out of the pattern that I'm about to do in this video, please test it out on your wheel. Make sure it's nice and secure on your steering wheel before you start driving and getting on the road, please. Even though I have a lot of experience in making steering wheel covers, every single steering wheel is just slightly different and it's better to be safe than be sorry, okay? Sit in your driveway for like a couple minutes and just spin the wheel around just to make sure it's secure, okay? Okay, now we'll have some fun. So I've made steering wheel covers in the past out of velvet and uh, baby blanket yarn. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to use a similar pattern to this velvet steering wheel cover that I made for my Etsy shop and use the same or at least a, a similar pattern as the framework for the pattern that I'm going to use for the Big Twist Posh, and we'll see how that works. And also, if you're better at visually reading an actual pattern, the digital pattern will be available on Etsy for you. Now the question is, which one of these should I start with? Which one should I pick? Which one should I pick? Text 44525 right now. Warm Glow or Sherbert, Sherbert Glow? Glow Warm. Okay, we'll use this. Okay. So for this pattern, you are going to need one skein of Big Twist Posh yarn in whatever color that your little heart desires. A five millimeter crochet hook. A pair of scissors. And either a metal or plastic needle with a big old hole in there to put the big old yarn into. You're also going to need a measuring tape and elastic. It's just one millimeter in diameter. This is what's going to make it so that you can make a whole bunch of these steering wheel covers and not have to sew them on and then take them off. 
You can just interchange them however many times you want. And that's what you want, right? Variety is the spice of life. You can use the elastic if you want. I'll show you how to do it at the end of this video. If you don't wanna do it, you can always sew it to your steering wheel cover, okay? Okay, I think we're ready. If you're wondering what this tape is for, it is because I have no idea how to keep my hands in the frame. So this is gonna be my spot. I'm a beginner at making crochet tutorial videos. You're a beginner at doing crochet. We are in the same boat. Okay, ready? All together now, take a deep breath. One, two, three. <sighs> okay, let's do this. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is a slip knot. So how I do a slip knot is basically, I take my yarn with my left hand, I'm a righty, so I'm gonna hold my crochet hook in my right hand. I take my thumb and I put it right there with the yarn underneath my thumb, holding it nice and tight. Then I pull that little end over so that it's like that. Okay, so it's basically a little zoop zoop. Then you're gonna want to take that end and pull it with your hook through the loop. And then bada bing, bada boom, you got it. That's a slip knot, baby, you got it. Okay, if you need to watch that again, don't feel bad, go rewatch it, and then meet me back here and we will start our first chain. So here's where your handy dandy, what's it called? <laughs> Measuring tape comes in, okay? So what you're gonna wanna do is I want you to make your very first base chain four inches long, okay? You don't necessarily have to end up with the same amount of chains as I do in four inches, but I just wanna make sure however many chains you do, the base chain is four inches long. So I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Chain one, and then go back into that 12th or whatever chain number that you're on. And I want you to single crochet one. And then you're just gonna work your way all the way back to the beginning. Alrighty, so we're gonna get all the way to the last chain. That's the back, that's the front, nice and fluffy. Now we're gonna go back and do our next row. So we already have one row down. Chain one, turn your work, and then go back. Just single crocheting all the way across. Now a lot of people have a little bit of trouble figuring out where this last stitch is after the first row that you do of single crochet. It's not an issue here at all. That's why this yarn is so nice for beginners because you can really see every stitch. By the way, this is not sponsored by Joanne Fabrics. <laughs> Even though it would be so nice if it was, it's not, <laughs> don't worry. This is genuinely just speaking from my own experience. This yarn is so nice, oh my gosh. So after you've done that second row, you're gonna chain one, turn your work, and just go back again. So now I did our third row. Let's measure again just to make sure we're still good. All right, so it got a little bit bigger. So now as you can see, we're kind of lining up around the four and a quarter inch point, not the four inch point anymore. And that's exactly what's supposed to happen. The width of your steering wheel cover, after you've done multiple rows, I want you to check it 
make sure it's no bigger than four and a quarter. If it's any bigger, it's possible that it might be too thick. I wanna make sure you have clear view of everything that's going on on your dashboard, okay? Okay, third row, fantastic. Chain one, turn your work, go back again with another row of single crochet. Now, if you're a beginner, you wanna make sure you're getting the same number of stitches in every row. If you ended up, like me, with a chain of 13 in the beginning, that means in every row you will have 12 single crochets because remember, that first chain does not count. So you can count. We can start by counting all the Vs, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we're on track. Check again. Yep, around four and a quarter. So that was our fourth row. Chain one, turn your work, and I think you get the picture. So I'm gonna let you go, and I will meet you back at the last row, and we'll complete that one together, and then I'll show you what to do, okay? All right. So I actually ended up with 79 rows and I am going to, as promised, do the last row with you to make a total of 80 rows. I've never had so much fun crocheting a steering wheel cover, I think, in my whole life. And I've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> it worked up so quick and it was so enjoyable the whole time. Oh, it was just perfect. Again, I'm not sponsored, but Joanne, if you want, I'll be, I'll be here if you want me. So here we are, our very last row. That makes a total of 80 rows. And now I'm going to show you how to join this last row to the very first row that we did so that we can make a full loop. So I'm gonna snip this piece. Make sure you leave a long tail. And now there are two ways that you can do this. You can either sew them together very simply or you can do a slip stitch. And I'm gonna show you the easy way first. So we just snipped our yarn and I'm just going to pull that last piece of yarn out like that. And then I'm going to thread this needle. Oh, and if you are new to crochet, I highly recommend Tony from TL Yarn Crafts. That's TL Yarn Crafts on YouTube. I mean, I've been crocheting for 17 years and I still learn new things from her. So basically, it's super simple. All you wanna do is go through every loop and every loop here. And you wanna make sure that they, they line up. In and out of every loop that you have, making sure to line them up. Just like that. So then, we have a join. So that's the first way you can do it. And then obviously after that, you would just tie up your ends and this is what it looks like on the back side. Now if you're a beginner crochet you're more than welcome to do this. It'll look perfectly fine once you actually install it on your steering wheel. What I recommend though if you do use this method make sure that this is your inside and this is your outside. That way it looks more like a seamless join instead of having this piece right here. Okay, then when you knot everything up, make sure that you knot it on the inside so that when the outside is showing, you have a nice clear seam. You can't even tell it's there. Okay, all right, now we're gonna work on the way that I normally do, which is a slip stitch. Fold the whole long big thing in half, and what you're gonna wanna do is just 
put one slip stitch in each stitch. You're gonna wanna work in the front loop, the closer loop to you in each one of these stitches. And then as far as the chains go, you're gonna wanna just put one stitch in each one. All right, cut that off, pull that out, and then when you lay it down flat, you have a beautiful crocheted slip stitch join. This is the back, this is the front. I just love that classic crocheted V-shape. All right, so now that we did all that, we're gonna go ahead and weave in our ends. You wanna make sure every one of these has a nice tight knot so that they have no chance of coming loose because you do not wanna lose all of that beautiful, beautiful work that you just did. There you go. Now we're gonna do the border. It's really, really simple. It's just one round of single crochet on this side of the steering wheel cover and then one round of single crochet on the opposite side. I'll get you started. So you're gonna stick your hook in whichever hole, whichever space you want. This isn't a very um, precise process. You're gonna pull through some yarn, some yarn hook, pull it through, drop that yarn that you're not using, pick up the live yarn, chain one, and go into the same stitch for one single crochet, okay? Then you're just gonna find every space and you're kind of looking for the framework of, you wanna put one single crochet into every row. And you kinda of wanna make sure they're evenly spaced, but this isn't an exact science. You just wanna make sure you have a nice border around the entire steering wheel cover. Okay, so I finished the first border of single crochet and as you can see here, I've ended my round and you can kind of see how this single crochet has cinched up the side and this side is still kind of loose. That's exactly what you want to see. You want to make sure that the left and right borders of your steering wheel cover are of a more tight gauge than the rest of your steering wheel cover so that it cinches together and makes it nice and tight, tight, tight to really fit snugly to your steering wheel. I'm gonna show you how to tie it off. So basically, you're gonna wanna put your yarn in through your needle. So you're gonna put the needle in through the two loops of that very first single crochet you did, tighten it up. Then you're gonna wanna put through to the back, only the back loop, pull that yarn through. So now you can't even see that there is a slip stitch. Again, TL Yarn Crafts. Tony, I love you so much. I learned this from you. You're fantastic. If you are a beginner, I cannot, for the life of me, stress enough. You need to find her channel. She's fantastic. She's going to help you so much. She's going to show you all the little tips and tricks that are going to take you from a beginner to an intermediate immediately. And now we're going to do the other side. Take the elastic, measure it two times, approximately two times the amount, the length of your steering wheel cover when it lays flat, doubled up like that. And you're gonna wanna make four of these nice long elastic pieces. After we flipped our steering wheel cover inside out, what we're gonna do is take this yarn and just put it 
in the back side of each of your single crochets that you did. These are actually called the legs. So we're just gonna put it there. See, and then it should look like that. Do this on both sides. Don't worry that this is showing through because of the way that we're doing this, it's not gonna show through to the other side. So I just wanted to show you real quick, this is what it should look like after you've installed the elastic. It stretches a lot. You should be questioning yourself if it's even going to be big enough to fit on your steering wheel. You wanna make absolutely certain this thing is not gonna come off while you're driving. So let's go test it out. Okay, so welcome to my car. The Kayla Mobile, as I like to call it. I made this steering wheel cover available for purchase on my Etsy shop about six months ago. So I've been using her for about six months. She's still in great shape, as you can see. Fantastic. Let's try out this new steering wheel cover. All right, so serious time, okay? Serious time. Anytime you purchase a steering wheel cover, you should always test it first always regardless of whether it's crochet your safety is your number one priority okay so when you put this steering wheel cover on you want to really struggle and I'm gonna show you my full struggle right now okay oh my god maybe I made this too tight no there's no such thing as too tight <sighs> ow Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> okay. Okay. <sighs> and there she is. <laughs> I'm going to turn on my car now cuz I'm about to sweat my butt off. This softness. Oh my god. That's the beauty of elastic, baby. I literally almost broke my nails. It's beautiful. All right, so now that we finally got this sucker on, we're gonna put the car in drive, and we're gonna do a little test. Swerve away! You gotta swerve away! You gotta really get into it. Let's do it one-handed. It doesn't slip at all, so. Yay. <laughs> Yay me, this worked. I'm so excited. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you make this. Yeah, yeah, make this. Make this for your mothers, your fathers, your sisters, your brothers, your family members, your friends. Make this for everybody. This yarn is so soft, it was a dream to crochet with the entire time. It worked up so fast. It was just, it's just, it's just the most perfect thing you could possibly make for yourself. Literally the most simple pattern in the world. It's available in my Etsy shop as a digital pattern. Comment and let me know if you want me to make another tutorial for a seatbelt cover, a gear shift cover, and coasters. And okay. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you later. Bye.